everyone, it's Rose, and today I am back with another Diamond Painting Unboxing from GBFKE. And um, I'm going to speak a little bit of French in this video. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. So um, I have six yeah. diamond paintings to show you today. All of them are cheap and cheerful, which means under $10 US, except for the first one that I'm going to show you. And I don't think I need to give you any more introduction than that. Let's get into it. And what I didn't mention in the intro is that I have some viewer mail. Uh, I got it a few days ago. I waited to open it until I got confirmation from the sender that it was okay for me to open this on camera because I, I don't want to be opening things on camera that people prefer be private. Uh, and she gave me the okay. So, uh, so we'll look at that and then we're going to look at 719. 754, 755, 756, 757, and 758. So this is going to be a big, long unboxing today. Um, so there's more of it to skip over for those of you who skip the boring parts. Um, and there's more for you to enjoy for those of you who like all of it. Okay, uh, so number 719, well, let's do this first because I want to get rid of the letter opening, letter opener. <gasps> it feels like a card. And, hold on, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Hey, this looks like it's handmade. Look at that. Oh, wow. It is handmade. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I... I Adore this. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And this is from Anne. Uh, oh my good. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ah, that is absolutely adorable. I've never seen a card like this. And I am absolutely entranced by it. Jeez. What a clever and gorgeous piece of art. See that one? This is definitely going to be kept because, wow. And thank you so much. For those of you who don't know, it was my birthday on February 28th. And this came from the United States. So it takes a little longer to get here than, um, than from within the country. So, uh, oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so let's put aside all these other diamond paintings and I'm going to open up number 719 first. And I'm going to put these on the floor because 719 is big. Uh, and 719 is one that came in my last order from GBFKE. And I didn't order, I didn't open it with that order because Sarah and I, if you, if you recall, Sarah of uh, Geared Up Crafting and I did a joint video um, of a GBFKE unboxing, which I'll link to up in the corner for those of you who might have missed it. It was super fun to do. Um, and we're going to do something like that again uh, in the coming, uh, I don't know when exactly, we haven't planned anything, uh, but um, this was in that order and we just thought we'd keep it to, to three items each, so I decided I would include this one in my next GBFKE unboxing. And this one comes as a Rose Tries request from my viewer, Lynn, who has a diamond painting channel, which I featured in my Great New Channels uh, series. It was a very short-lived series that I started, uh, oh geez, a couple of years ago. Here we go. I just had a few um, videos in that, in that ilk, but, um, but I directed you to Lynn's channel uh, to try out, and I'm going to direct you there again. 
And this is where I speak French. Pour tout le monde qui parle français, je pense que la chaîne de Lynn, qui est nommée Lynn Diamond Painting, comme vous pouvez voir sur l'écran, est une très bonne chaîne. Et j'ai toujours adoré la chaîne de Lynn. Uh, so, for those of you who don't speak French, uh, what I just tried to say, and I'm sure I'm angled it because it's been quite a while since I spoke French, um, is that uh, Lynn is one of my viewers from very early on, uh, and her channel, Lynn Diamond Painting, which I am linking up in the corner here, um, has been on YouTube for quite a while. Uh, I discovered it in, I think, 2019, and um, featured in, in my best new channels with, you know, less than 50 subscribers or something like that. And, um, and I still think it's a fantastic channel. I love watching it because I adore just listening to Lynn speak French and show us her diamond paintings. And uh, Lynn's from Quebec, uh, which is just across the border. I'm not sure where in Quebec uh, Lynn lives, but she sent me this request to try this diamond painting for her. And so that is what I'm doing. And I am, um, it's not the kind of image that I would normally choose because it's a really subtle image. And you know me, I am anything but subtle. Uh, but it is really, really pretty. And when I talk about subtle, like when I say subtle, this image, I didn't even realize that there was anything other than the roses and stuff in it. But there is. There's uh, like dragonflies and butterflies. And there's some sort of a castle in the background. I'm just looking at my black and white copy of it. And there's like a rainbow over here. And there's a girl and a horse here. So super super subtle background imagery. I've never seen a diamond painting like this before, uh, and I was intrigued by it when Lynn asked me to try it for her. So I thought, what the heck? And the other thing that I'm seeing is that this thing is confetti heaven. So you know how so many of the really big diamond paintings they have huge amounts of color blocking. Um, this one is not one of those. This one is pretty much all confetti. It has 21 colors and there's not a dark color in the bunch. Wow. Okay. Um, this is 100 by 50 canvas, which we're going to measure right now. And I can't remember now if I showed you the uh, the uh, kit, but it is just the standard kit with the boat, the pen, and a piece of wax. So this is 94 centimeters across in drill area, and it is 45 centimeters high. It arrived in great condition. It doesn't need to be... Uh, flattened or anything like that. There is one little, um, I would actually call that like a, a crease uh, and a tiny little bit here. So before I work on this, if I work on it, because I'm not sure if I will, um, because that would be a lot of time to devote to uh, something that, I don't know, I don't know, it might be something to give away actually. So maybe I will. Uh, so there are a few male increases in it, which I'll just iron out. And then it'll be fine uh, because it's it's a nice canvas. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the legend and the drill area, and then we will do the the review of the drills after that. So um, here we go. Let's zoom a little bit. I see Peppy has finished her breakfast. There we go. All right. So, the legend is fine. There's nothing on here that I find confusing. 
They use uh, the darkest color is 550, and they use the W for that, which is to me I consider that the largest symbol. And oh god, I hope she doesn't start barking. And um, I'm fine with that because uh, even though it's white on the darker color, I don't think it'll be a problem if it shows through just simply because of the way this canvas is done. It is done in the new style. So there are no pixels on this. Uh, all you get is the, uh, the original image and then the drill circles have been superimposed over top of it. So let's take a look at the canvas. And because it's such a huge canvas, uh, I'm not gonna show all of it close up, but I wanna show you enough of it so that you can see just how clear this is. It is just gonna be fantastic. To work on like if this is your sort of diamond painting if this is the kind of image that you like to work on this is as perfectly clear as clear can be and because it is such light colors with dark print on them with very few exceptions um, I would definitely be able to work on this without a light pad yeah definitely be able to work on this without a light pad and um, yeah, so I have explained so many times what the difference between old style and the new superimposed style um, printing method for round drill diamond paintings is. I'm not going to explain it again today. Um, so if you're wondering, if you don't watch my videos regularly and you wonder what is new style versus old style, check out my last unboxing video. And, uh, and pretty much any unboxing video before that, and you'll, you'll get an explanation. Wow. Yeah, no, this is, um, this is beautifully clear. Oh, it's not a horse, it's a unicorn. But you see how subtle that is? Like, as you pull back, you start to notice some of the details in this. But because it's all super light colors, it's, it's very, very restful. Oh, and look at the pretty bird down here. It is a really pretty picture. Now I'm thinking, yeah, I will do it. Like at first I thought I'm just gonna do it because I love Lynn's channel so much. Um, like I'll, I'll do the, the rose tries because it's not something I would normally choose. But, ooh, I, I'm starting to like it more. And I'm thinking, not for my bedroom, because my bedroom is like all bright colors, um, but uh, but some people like, you know, more restful bedrooms and, you know, calmer pictures. And this is a, this is a nice picture. This might be a nice picture for a, a girl's room too, like a little girl's room. Uh, something that'll take up a lot of space. And yet it's very whimsical with the little girl and her unicorn and the castle in the background and all the roses and thorns and everything. What it evoked for me was Sleeping Beauty. Even though it's not like the typical Sleeping Beauty Disney image, um, that is what this diamond painting made me think of when I first saw it. Um, so I don't know, it's kind of a diamond painting to dream by. Like a, what a great image for a little baby girl to, to fall asleep looking at. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice, Lynn. Uh, I'd love to know what you think of it. And then we have all of the drills and here they are. And you can see that these colors are very soft, very muted very gentle colors and they would pretty much go into any decor I think yeah because we don't really have like I there's a 550 in here I know that I haven't seen it because I don't think there's a lot of it but um, you know we see the mauve and we see you know some pale pinks and stuff like that and beiges and so yeah um, there's grays uh, but nothing, like there's no 839s, there's no, uh, there's no 3371, 
yeah, no, the, the colors are quite, quite pale. Um, soft colors, like I say. Okay, let's get into this. I'll come back in a minute. All right, so I am ready to start showing you the colors and I am gonna show them to you from the front today because I think it's important for you to see how many bags of each color there are. Um, now, as you saw, this is all confetti, but it's a mix of a whole bunch of different uh, colors that go into that confetti. And uh, we do have some predominant ones here. So let's get going. And um, yeah, very, very pretty drills. Now, I have said this before, but when I get drills in this kind of packaging, uh, I know that they're going to be good drills. So that's something else that I really, really like about buying from wholesale companies like GBFKE is that, um, that they're able to consistently provide really, really good drills. And that is something I like. I've really grown to like the uh, strip packaging. So now we get into the seven, which is one of those main colors. And we have lots of bags of seven. There's three, there's four, there's five. Then we have color eight, and then color nine, which is another one of the main colors. So two, three, four, five, six, and then we get into 10, which is yet another main color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here's our 550. And then we get a couple of bags of 12. 13, and we get three bags of 14. Bags of 17, 18, two bags of 19, two bags of 20, and 21. So there you go. That is uh, number 719, which uh, is called Flower Girl. Um, and uh, it looks better than I thought it was going to look. And the main reason for that is all the confetti. The confetti absolutely makes this diamond painting. Now, for those of you who don't like confetti, um, you're not gonna like this diamond painting. But for those of you who love confetti, this is a diamond painting that has tons of confetti in it that's really, really pretty that I could definitely see going up on a little girl's wall. Um, I mean, it could go up on any wall, really, because there's nothing in this that's going to be jarring or, or you know, um, anything. And most of the colors in it are very neutral colors. So, yeah, this, this, this kind of goes with anything. And the little girl and the unicorn that's kind of hidden in there just so pretty. And then the castle in the background. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so Lynn, I would love to know, que penses-tu? All right, uh, so I'm going to put this away now, and uh, I am going to get ready to show you the next one. All right then, so that is number 719, Flower Girl uh, from GBFKE, and yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful canvas. And yeah, okay. So uh, let's take a look at number 754. Now this is one that charmed the heck out of me when I saw it. This 
uh, number 754, which I call A Boy and His Dog. And those of you who are science fiction fans might recall that um, Harlan Ellison wrote a, a story, or a short novel, in, um, I don't know if it was the 60s or 70s, probably the 70s, called A Boy and His Dog. And it was not a happy ending. Um, it's it, uh, Don Johnson, a very young Don Johnson, long before his Miami Vice days, starred in the movie that was made of that uh, story, which took place in Topeka, Kansas, after a nuclear uh, war. Anyway, um, this I call a boy and his dog, even though it's more likely a fox, but I love it, and it reminds me of Le Petit Prince, uh, the Saint Exupéry uh, story um, of the little prince and I don't know I just I saw it and I had to have it it's so simple and yet so almost achingly beautiful um, I adore this and I wasn't thinking about it when I ordered it um, but looking at it now, and what I just said about the flower girl being great for a little girl's bedroom, this would be great for a little boy or a little girl's bedroom, because you can't actually tell if that's a boy or a girl. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a unisex picture. And talk about wishing on a star. Holy smokes, this is just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it came through shipping very, very well. I'm just going to roll it on itself to get rid of the curls on the ends a little bit. There we go. All right. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, I just love this. Now, this one has uh, a lot of color blocking to it, and that's fine. I'm fine with that because it's the starry night and, you know, the, the dark of the hill, and it's clearly at night. And so I don't mind the color blocking, not even a little bit. What we get with it is this kit. Uh, so this is 40 by 50 canvas, which translates to uh, 35, which is 14 inches, pretty much exactly. Uh, by 44 and a half, which is between, well, it's about 17 and a half inches. So a 14 by 18 frame would be what you need. I don't know if that's a standard size frame or not, but you could certainly mount this on a 40 by 50 uh, canvas, uh, stretched canvas, um, and, uh, and it would look fantastic because I think this is the sort of thing that should be put up on a wall <laughs> just saying um, in a child's bedroom uh, like I would put this up on my wall I don't know if I'm going to but it's the sort of thing that I would put up on my wall um, and I wouldn't care if it was in a bedroom or in a living room or a hallway I think the only place I wouldn't put it is a bathroom um, okay so let's Take a look at the legend, uh, which has 23 colors to this diamond painting. And there are a variety of colors. That looks like it's going to be a beautiful, easy to read legend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with what I see. And so we've got the W's for the black and uh, is it black or is it uh, what's W? W is 939 so it's it's not black but it's about as close to it as you can get and um, so if you don't place your drills perfectly you might see a little tiny bit of the W behind it I don't think that would bother me as much as seeing black behind white drills uh, because this way you could confuse it for the sparkle of the diamonds. Yes, see? And everything else 
is as clear as clear can be. Yeah, this is really beautifully done. And again, this is done in the new style. Not the pixel, like it's not pixels. It is the new style. And so you get way better definition than you would uh, if it was done in the pixel style for round diamond paintings. Yeah. This is just lovely. And then the top is all W with uh, the stars in it. So I don't need to show you all of that. Gorgeous. And then as we pull back from it, Oh my goodness, how delightful is that? Love it, a boy and his dog. Okay, let's take a look at the drills. Okay, so we need 23 colors and here we have 23 colors. And the code on the drills is the same code as we have on the diamond painting, so that's all good. Uh, DMC numbers nowhere on the packages. There were nowhere, they were not listed on the packages for uh, the Flower Girl either, uh, but that's okay since they include the DMC numbers on uh, the canvas itself. So let's take a look. And I don't expect to find anything uh, worrisome here. I do have, I think, three ugly, four ugly diamond paintings for you today. Uh, and I'm just going to say, today is uh, the last day that I um, will accept ugly diamond painting suggestions of skulls. Um, because for the sort of the, the Day of the Dead type skulls, the, the sugar skulls, a lot of people love those. And I think they might get offended that, you know, that um, I put them in the ugly diamond painting uh category which a lot of times I don't agree that something is ugly I just put up whatever viewers uh, send me uh, as what they consider ugly um, and in fact there have been a couple of times when viewers have sent me what they consider ugly diamond paintings that I've thought "Ooh, I like that I'm gonna get that um, so I show them as ugly diamond paintings anyway because you know everybody has different tastes uh, but um, I know that a lot of us don't love skulls <laughs> and I think we have shown our unlove, dislove for skulls in the previous uh, versions of the uh, Ugly Diamond Painting section. So the ones that you're seeing now uh, and in the next unboxing video that has any that I receive after this video is published um, will, or edited rather, will be the last ones that I show in terms of skull diamond paintings in the ugly section. Um, okay, so everything looked good there, and I am ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic with this diamond painting. It is so beautiful. I'm so happy that the round diamond paintings now all seem to be done in the new style. Makes all the difference in the world. And for those of you who, uh, you know, were thinking you needed to do squares in order, order to get the definition in a smaller size diamond painting, you don't need to do squares if they're done, if the rounds are done in the new style because you get all the same detail as you would get in a square, if not more. Uh, and that is fantastic. So there you go, 754, a boy and his dog, 23 colors from GBFKE, nothing at all like the Harlan Ellison story, not even a dog. It's really a fox. I knew it was a fox, but I just was feeling, I don't know, I just wanted to make that joke. So there we go. Uh, that's that one. I absolutely adore it. And I hope this one comes up fast because I would love to put that up somewhere. Okay, next up. 
number 755. And this is another Rose Tries. And uh, I did mention in the intro that all of the diamond paintings except Flower Girl, the first one we saw, are cheap and cheerful. So this one here is uh, also cheap and cheerful, less than $10 US. Let me raise up because this one is a little bit big. Uh, so this one is a Rose Tries that I got the request from Crystal Diamanda uh, a while ago. And it took me a little while before I ordered it. But uh, as soon as I saw it, I like as soon as I opened the link, it's like, oh yeah, definitely going to get that one. I adore the colors in this. I love the style of it. Uh, this one is more of a color blocking uh, diamond painting. But oh my goodness, the colors just make me so happy. And this one is called Homegirl Model. And that's what GBFKE calls it. Uh, and I couldn't think of a better name for it. So there, there it is. That's what it, that's what it is. It is Homegirl Model. And I'm just going to adjust this because I don't like where that is. All right. There we go. Um, gorgeous. This also is done in the new style. And so you get perfect definition to everything. Uh, it is spectacular. I love it. Uh, it comes with two kits, uh, identical and gorgeous. Okay, so this is another 40 by 50 canvas. And uh, so let's see if it's going to be the same size as the last one. So it is uh, uh, just over 34 and a half. So we'll call it 35. And just over 44 and a half, so we'll call it 40, uh, 45. So 35 by 45. All right. Uh, just beautiful. So let's take a look at the legend and the drill area. So this is all bright colors. So these are my colors on here. And the boy and his dog, that also was um, definitely my, my colors. Um, and oh my goodness, look at this, look at, look at this. Just stunning. And because there are no pixels, you get beautiful smooth lines. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's interesting. So we get um, color, not color blocking in her skin, uh, her back. Uh, to get that shading effect, what they did was they, um, they did confetti. That is new and interesting. I haven't seen it done that way before. But boy, is that effective. That really makes it look three-dimensional. That is awesome. Because when we get down into her arm, that's not the case. It's mostly color blocked. But her back, to get that, the three-dimensional effect, oh, wow, that is really cool. And then her, so much of this is color blocked. But look at all those beautiful curved lines. There's not a set of stairs on this thing. Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at the definition just on this part of the diamond painting. Those fingers are fantastic. The lips, the eyes, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Uh, Crystal Diamanda, I would, of course, as always, like to know what you think of it, but oh my god, this is gorgeous.
love everything about this. Absolutely everything about this is fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's another one that I hope comes up in a penny pick real soon. Back when I get to do penny picks again, because I'm kind of off of them right now because I'm so behind on all of my um, channel work. But uh, once I get caught up on my channel work, I will be able to um, do more penny picks. Uh, and uh, yeah. And so that also, by the way, is why I'm going to be go cutting back a little bit on the number of videos that I make each week because I want to spend more days um, just diamond painting. Uh, what I have found, so I'm going to talk through this drill review um, and uh, not show you any pictures. I'll just talk. Um, okay, so we need 23 colors. And there we have the last ones. So yeah, we have 23 colors. Okay, so um, I've said this before, but not everybody watches all of my videos. And some of you are new to my videos. So I will uh, say it again for those of you who are newer to my channel. So when COVID struck, my contribution to helping to maintain people's sanity during the initial what was supposed to be a two-week lockdown was uh, I said I'm gonna make a video every day and so I made a video every day for those two weeks and the lockdown continued and um, well the lockdown and you know all the restrictions about getting together with people and so forth continued and here we are almost a year later and, uh, you know, a lot of us are still essentially uh, either in lockdown or um, under, you know, restrictions on socializing and stuff like that, uh, which means that many of us are confined to our homes. Uh, I am confined to my home by choice, not because of any, you know, physical um, or health uh, issue, just because I want to be safe uh, for myself and those around me. But... Uh, I maintain that pace of making a video every day, almost every single day from March until December. And um, as many of you uh, know, my videos tend to be fairly long. Um, and so that means that in total in a day, it probably takes me, depending on how many pictures I put into my videos and stuff, it takes me anywhere from about five to eight or ten hours to produce a video and upload it and um, do everything that needs to be done to it. Uh, a couple of days ago, the video that I made that had all those ugly diamond paintings and uh, viewer finishes and stuff like that, that took me, like I was working on that with a two hour break from 10 in the morning until 10 at night. Actually, I finished uploading it uh, at after midnight so it I was working on it for over 12 hours um, and that's a long day okay that's a long day and it takes a lot out of me um, and so and also it means that on days that I make those very long videos um, with you know all the little bells and whistles added in uh, I don't get to diamond paint so my projects that I need to work on they just don't get worked on and that adds to my stress because you know I have uh, people who I've promised diamond paintings to I've got other things you know like I've got um, commitments to some of the stores that I work with about you know uh, showing some of their finished works and stuff so uh, and I have you know, like I want, I want to work on my projects. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I want to work on my projects, and uh, and I can't do that if I'm making a video every single day. So uh, after Christmas, I said I was going to cut back, and during the month of January, I think it was, I did cut back quite a bit on the number of videos that I made, um, and that was good. 
Um, and I think I'm going to do that again. Maybe not go to every other day, but I'm not going to feel obligated to make a video every single day anymore. Um, and so instead of, you know, like what I've been trying to do is take one, maybe two days off a week. Don't worry, like, don't worry about what's happening to me if you notice that I go a couple of days without making a video sometimes. Um, because um, what that means is that I am um, diamond painting instead. Uh, there was also one. There was also one day this week where I spent about I don't know uh, ten hours uh, placing a single order for a very large number of things. I think there were forty nine items in that order, and then doing all of the uh, inventory management and administration related to that. And so that was another day that I didn't get to uh, diamond paint at all. And um, I like diamond painting. So yesterday I diamond painted all day and I got quite a lot done. I am now two thirds done my project of the month, as you will see a little bit later in this video when I show uh, the updates that I've received since my last video on projects of the month. And um, yeah, so I enjoyed that and I wanna have more days like that. Okay, so number 755, Homegirl Model. Uh, this one has 23 colors, and I absolutely love it. All right, let's move on. So next up is number 756. And this is one that I fell in love with when I saw it. I absolutely adored this. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is, as I said, number 756. And where is the opening? There it is. And I can already see this is a confetti dream or a confetti nightmare, however you see it. I see it as a confetti dream. And there's some tape on here holding it closed. There we go. Some people don't like when they put tape on. I don't care. They're doing it to ensure that the diamond painting gets to us in good condition. So I appreciate anything they do in that vein. Okay. So this one I call Forest Animals Girl. I can't remember if that's what it's called on the website or not. Uh, so this is definitely not, hold on, I just want to put it where I like to have these. Uh, this is definitely not the type of colors that I normally go for, but the image reminds me of a storybook. Um, I could definitely see this as an illustration in a child's uh, storybook. And uh, I just loved it. This is, I think this is done in the pixel method. Let me just zoom way in. Hold on, let me zoom way, way in here. So you see how on her leg, um, Oh, it is pixel. It is pixel style. I wasn't able to tell until I got right close up to it. This is pixel style. Uh, but let's just pull way, way back from it. I think it's still going to look nice. Not as nice as it would look if it was done in the new style. But it's, it's very nice. Okay, uh, let's get back to uh, <laughs> the normal way I do these videos. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes, it is done in the pixel style. Not quite as good definition as you would get uh, in this size if it was done in the new style. This is a 45 by 35 canvas. So we're going to find that the uh, print area, the, the image area is um, probably about 37. Oh, it's 40. Oh, okay. It's 40. 
and uh, it's 30. So this is a true 30 by 40. Uh, okay, that's good. So that makes getting a frame for it super easy uh, because that'll just be a standard size frame. Or if you want to mount it, it'll be a standard um, stretched canvas. Okay, so this has 30 colors, which it needs because there is a lot going on in this diamond painting. And I was really hoping that it would be done in the new style because if it was done in the new style, then all of the detail of the original image would have come through. Because it's not done in the new style, all of the detail does not come through. Um, which is sad because this is just such a sweet image. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit. Uh, like there are birds and things up here. You really don't see them very clearly. Uh, you can see the bunny here. Uh, and then the other bunny here. But they're not as clear as I would like. Now I'm sure that once we put drills down on this it will look better but it's a little little bit of a disappointment to me just a little bit of a disappointment to me oh well okay so here is the legend and uh even though i don't like the legend doesn't look that clear the picture is going to look a lot clearer. Uh, all those symbols are going to look a lot clearer on the picture because you see how uh, here they have like a black C on the color of the drill. Well, here, all of the symbols are on white circles. So, um, so you have black printing on white circles for all of the symbols, which is what makes the image look a little bit washed out as we look at it because there's so much white and black in it. Um, compared to uh, other diamond paintings that we see where, you know, the, the symbol is written either in black or white on the color of the drill itself on the canvas. But what that means is that you will be able to read every single symbol on this canvas absolutely clearly. And for those of you who don't like using a light pad or don't have a light pad, you won't need one. Um, because look how clear the printing is. This is going to be a dream to work on. Even if, in the end, it doesn't look absolutely fantastic, like I think it'll still look really nice. And I might try this one. I'm tempted to add it to my queue of diamond paintings that I'm working on just simply to see how it turns out because this is a really busy diamond painting for a 30 by 40 uh, and I really hope that it was done in the new style but oh well uh, it might still turn out we'll see I, I think we're gonna lose a lot of this I think we're gonna lose a lot of the detail and I know I'm supposed to be showing you the the, the canvas not the overall image again it's just I'm very interested in how this is going to look when it's done. So this is super, super clear printing. Unfortunately, the image itself is not super, super clear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a disappointment. It's a disappointment. Oh, too bad. Um, I might have to work on this one. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Because I would love to be wrong about um, this not turning out well. All right, so here we have the kit, and it is a standard kit that comes with some bags. It's been a while since I got bags. I'm happy with that. All right, oh, and look at this. The drills are already kitted up. That makes me super happy. Super, super, super happy. Okay. So while I look at the drills, I'm just going to talk, I think, uh, because um, I'm going to put a little section after looking at these drills. I'm going to put a little section uh, that is uh, viewer finishes. 
and project of the month. So um, I'll have little cards come up in between so that you know which is a viewer finish and which is a project of the month. But I did get a few photos of viewer finishes of GBFKE items that I have not previously shown on my channel. So I will be uh, showing you those finishes alongside the um, image on the website and I will include the links to those GBFKE diamond paintings that my viewers finished uh, down in the description below along with the links for all of the ones that I'm showing you here because after seeing the beautiful finishes that the viewers have made you might want to get that diamond painting yourself so there you go. And these all look really good. I'm not seeing anything here that worries me at all. And for project of the month, uh, I don't have a lot of updates from people since the last video that I made, which is fine. I think uh, I'll just have my own update. And uh, I think there was one other that I've received. By the time I edit this, maybe I'll have received some more emails. We'll see, but you'll know in a minute. Yeah, really, really good in terms of the quality of these drills. Very, very nice. I like it. And I'm so happy that these are pre-bagged for me. That just makes it that much nicer. Okay, all right, so that's it. I'm gonna put these drills away and I will be right back. All right, so there we go. This is um, number 756, Forest Animals Girl, uh, true 30 by 40, and it is 30 colors. And the jury's out on how this is gonna look when it's all done. Okay. Uh, this video is going to have to be split into two parts because um, it's like two hours long. So uh, this is the end of part one and I will be back in the next day or so with part two. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right. So I want to thank everybody. This is going to be a short outro because uh, I'm going to do it again in a day or two for the whole video. But I want to thank everybody who contributed to this, uh, including Nuria, whose uh, finishes we saw, and uh, Rob and Charlotte. And um, I want to thank Ali for the beautiful diamond paintings and all my patrons viewers, and subscribers. So take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.